Yeah, to me, but okay. first time for everyone else here. Um, me personally, I've always been, a um, big part of my work is to make everybody feel individualized. I worked on a book where it was all a bunch of, like over 20 teenagers, and I took the time to make every single one of them look different. It cost me in the end, but I actually had a lot of fun in the book. But uh, I remember I had an incident, uh, I was working on an X-Men book at the time, and I was drawing Storm. And um, when Storm was first created in the 70s, she had a, the artist who created her had a very specific face for her. And it made her very unique. And it was like she was this um, uh, a very strong black character and a woman in comics, which at the time was getting a lot of play. And um, she had a very distinct look that many of the artists carried over and kept that. So um, around the 90s, comics had fallen into a kind of um, trance. Characters had to have, everyone had to have huge muscles, everyone had to have uh, belt buckles. It was just like, you know, armor, you know, like Spider-Man wore armor, and it was just like, it, I mean, it's like, some, these things are classic for a reason, because, you know, we could still recognize Superman 70 years from now, you know, but, um, so, uh, the X-Men books had become very homogenized. They were selling through the roof, they were very stylized, and, um, but I was getting a chance to draw an X-Men book, and so I was like, okay, this is, I was, uh, I was young at the time, but I was very old school in my um, um, thinking of comics. I thought like the way old classic comics used to look, and I'm drawing Storm, and I wanted Storm to look like that classic Storm. Not like the cartoon one, because if you look at the cartoon version, she doesn't even look black. She has the same face as all the other characters, and that was something that I was stridently against, and uh, personally, as an artist, I'm like, I want them all to look differently other than just their hair. So I drew her, and um, one of the uh, uh, criticisms I got was, um, hey, uh, Chris, can you make Storm look a little less black? What? Uh, I, was like, I was like, what? <laughs> She's black, isn't she? You know, like, um, and I was like, it's like, yeah, she, I almost wanted to remind him, like, I drew that based on the classic Dave Cockle. Hey, you're the expert, not me, but, um, so he um, goes, yeah, could you make it look more like, um, at the, at the guy at the time who was huge on X-Men was Jim Lee. And everybody was copying him. Everybody. I didn't want to copy him. Respected the hell out of him. But I didn't want to be one of the thousands of clones that were out there. And um, comics are open to many styles, so why should everything look the same? And um, just told me, yeah, just make it look like, look at Jim's stuff. Look at Jim's stuff. Everything was, look at Jim. And I remember... At the time, also, with the rest of the cast, I was trying to make them look... Uh, Cyclops was drawn like a bodybuilder at the time. And I remember growing up with Cyclops, he was a slimmer guy. You know, like, everybody had their different body type and stuff like that. They, they stood out from each other. He was known as Slim Summers. And that was just something that I always remembered. It was part of his character. So I intentionally started making him look slimmer. He still looked like he, you know, he went to the gym six days a week, you know, and all that. <laughs> Believe me, it was no string bean, but... Um, I had to keep all these characters. And then I had the other guy who was huge, but everybody had to, I was kind of being pushed into making everybody really, really big, muscular, and yeah, it was, it was at the time, very frustrating, because I wanted to make everybody stand out. You know, the black guy should look black, and Asian guy should look Asian. You know, they should all pop off. You know, and I, I wanted people to see that, but um, not to say you can't do that now, but at the time it was very disappointing to hear that my Storm was too black. <laughs>